and for in the third case we have three different possibilities and three different places so this is also three factorial ways we can rearrange themselves and similarly in fourth position we can arrange themselves in three factorial ways so this Hello everyone I am Rakesh Na and I am a faculty of CSAT in Tutor Science Academy So today we going to have a very small session on a very interesting and a very important topic of CSAT examination that is permutation and combination Right permutation and combination Today we going to discuss what is permutation and combination there are various examples to it if we have to arrangement for some specific condition if we have some arrangements where some elements are being repeated or we have some arrangement where no elements are repeating and no specific conditions are there so today we going to discuss in detail how to tackle all these question and after that we will discuss some previous year questions that has been asked in some recent past years okay let's start then so first of all coming directly to the concept a permutation combination here we have to calculate the number of possible ways in which a given constraint are satisfied and all the possible conditions are also satisfied and how many such examples can be there that satisfy these conditions right so here we generally have to find the number of arrangements so we can start directly with the example so first example we are taking here is how many different words with or without meaning can be formed by rearranging the letters of the word fruits right is extremely simple question there is nothing much to explain over here what it is saying is we have to arrange the letters letters in the sense the alphabets we have to arrange the alphabets of this word right this word has six alphabets and all of them are unique alphabet i mean in this word there is no alphabet that is repeating itself so we have six unique alphabets here in the word and we have to rearrange this six alphabets to form words of six letters with or without meaning so we have to find how many such words can be formed right an extremely simple question so how can we start with the question so this is the first example so i am starting with the scratch from the next question we will directly ap apply the formulas so here we will first derive and explain uh, derive and try to understand how we came to the formula so here we have let us take this six words right so these are the six words that we have and now we have to find the all number or uh, total possible arrangements so on this uh, this place the first place on this first place we can uh, put any of these six words right so number of possible possibilities over here on the first place we can put any of these six words so there will be six possibilities for the first first place right and consecutively for the second place since we have utilized one of our letter here and all the letters have to be used in same frequency as that was appearing in the original word since all the words are appearing single time so we are left with five word letters here for the second place right for the second place we have left with five places of uh, five options so in the second place we can put any of these five words very simple in the first place we can put any of the six word that means we have six possibilities here it means we can put any of f r u i t s any or letter of the six words can be any letter of the six can be put in the first place and since for the second place we have utilized one your letter let us imagine let's take an example let us imagine that we have taken r here right so number of possibilities for the second uh, place will be f r we cannot write here since r is not uh, used f r u i t s f u i t s so these are the five possibilities for the second place very simple so let's imagine on second place we have selected the letter u right so these are the first two letters we have selected for the third place now we are remaining with four letters f i t s these are the four letters that we are remaining with on the third place right let us take an example let us for instance we take f so let us for instance we consider f for the third place so for the third place fourth place we will be remaining with these three letters right it means we have three possibilities to fill the fourth place let us take example we selected i here for the next place we have two options t and s right so we have two possibilities here let us take we take t over here so for the last place we have only one single option to select that is s right so these are our total number of possibilities for each unique places 
the number of possibilities the number of letters we can fill in each unique places very simple thing so what we can now say over here for every six possibility matlab for every possibility of uh, this selection here we have five possibilities of this and every possibility of for this we have four possibilities of this right bahut simple hai isko hindi mein agar hum bole to jaise hamare paas unit place ke liye six different possibilities hai ab usme se jaise humne r select kar liya to uski next place ke liye hamare paas for uh, r ke liye panch possibilities bachegi ab let's imagine humne r ki jagah isme u le liya hota फर्स्ट प्लेस में हमने यू ले लिया होता आर नहीं लिया होता तो उस यू के साथ भी हमारे पास यहाँ फाइव पॉसिबिलिटीज क्या क्या बचती एफ आर फिर उन्हें यू नहीं आता एफ आर आई टी एस है ना अगर हम इफ वी टेक यू इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस देन फॉर द सेकंड कॉलम आल्सो वी विल बी हैविंग द सेम फाइव पॉसिबिलिटी फाइव नंबर ऑफ पॉसिबिलिटीज राइट सो फॉर एवरी पॉसिबिलिटी इन द यूनिट प्लेस वी हैव फाइव डिफरेंट पॉसिबिलिटीज फॉर द फर्स्ट प्लेस एंड एवरी पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ द फर्स्ट प्लेस वी हैव फोर डिफरेंट पॉसिबिलिटीज फॉर द सेकंड प्लेस एंड सो ऑन right it means for every single possibilities of one place we have this many possibilities of the all the five places cumulatively taken so cumulatively for complete arrangements so complete number of arrangements of this we will be having six possibilities here for every six possibilities we will be having five for here so we have to multiply since for ek jaise iske ek single r hai तो इस आर के लिए हमारे पास पांच पॉसिबिलिटीज इसकी हैं और इसकी पांच के लिए हमारे पास चार पॉसिबिलिटीज इसकी हैं है ना इसका मतलब अगर हमने यहाँ पे एक एफ लिया यहाँ पे आर जैसे यहाँ पे हमने यू ले रखा यू ही रहते हैं जैसे हमने इस पर आर सेलेक्ट कर लिया और इस पर यू सेलेक्ट कर लिया देन फॉर नंबर ऑफ पॉसिबिलिटीज टू सिलेक्ट टू अरेंज द फोर लेटर्स इन द लास्ट फोर प्लेसेज विल बी दिस थिंग फोर पॉसिबिलिटीज इसकी मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थ्री बिकॉज फॉर एवरी पॉसिबिलिटी वी हैव थ्री डिफरेंट पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑफ हेयर फॉर एवरी यूनिक थिंग दिस वी हैव टू पॉसिबिलिटीज फॉर हेयर so we have to multiply everything a very simple thing right this is how we came to the conclusion so is puri cheez ka conclusion ye nikla if we have n number of n uh, digits with us and all the so alphabets are different the number of possible arrangements to uh, by to forming an n alphabet number using the alphabets of the given number with or without meaning will be n factorial if we have unique digits unique in the sense the digits does not repeat itself the digit or the alphabet does not repeat itself then we have n factorial number of possibilities to arrange the, the given word and here it is six factorial since our number of uh, digits will be six so 654321 that is six factorial so we have six factorial number of possibilities over here and what is the value of six factorial it is a very simple thing 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 it is 720 so we have 720 number of possibilities very simple thing so this is how we came to the conclusion if we have n num letter word where all the letters are unique the number of possibilities of arrangements without without meaning using the letters of the given word will be n factorial and here since we have a six letter word so the answer of number of possibilities will be six factorial a very simple thing so this was this was the first thing so th second thing here is how many different words with or without meaning can be formed by rearranging the letters of the word fruits we are taking the same word and the first letter of all such word should be f so here the question is we have to do the same rearrangement but here one constraint is given to us that the first letter of the word of all the rearrangement possible should be f so this is rearrangement with conditions we have given a single constraint over here and we have to find the uh, number of possibilities let's imagine this is given to us the first letter of the all rearrangement should be f right so we are left with five different letters now we have to do the rearrangement exactly same thing for the first place matlab this is the first place now the first first place or second place or we can say the place next to f for this place the place next to f we have how many possibilities we have five possibilities r u i t s so these are the five possibilities with we have with respect to uh, s with respect to a second place so to with respect to third place again the same thing here one of the five possibilities will be utilized so for the next 
place we have four letters four alphabets left because one alphabet is already been utilized one is f that is given to us that is uh, uh, fixed to the first place and one letter is utilized for the second place so we are left with four place four options here we have five options here four now for three exactly same thing two one right so we since for every single possibilities of this thing we have four possibilities of this for every single selection of this one uh, first place we have four different possibilities in the third place and similarly for every possibility of this we we have three different possibilities here so here also we have to multiply because since for every possibilities we have this many possibilities over here this is multiplication no this is multiplication let's see if one dozen bananas is costing 14 rupees so 10 dozen banana will 10 dozen banana will cost 12 uh, sorry 10 dozen banana will cost 10 into cost of one banana one dozen banana is costing 14 rupees so 10 dozen banana will be costing 10 into price of one dozen of banana na skip because cost of every banana a dozen of banana will be 14 rupees and since we have to add 14 10 times so we can sing, simply multiply 14 into 10 so this is exactly the same thing we have five possibilities here and for every possibility of this we will be having 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 possibility so total number will be multiplication of all these a very simple thing right so we have to rearrange this thing with a single given constraint so the answer where we will be 5 factorial 5 into 4 into if it is confusing we can write it this way number of possibility is this thing and this is 5 factorial right number of possibility and this is 5 factorial so this is our answer now this is again a similar question now we have two constraints in the earlier question we have single constraint now this is question of two constraint how many different words with or without meaning how many different words with or without meaning can be formed by rearranging the letters of the word fruits and the first letter of all such words should be f and the last letter should be s right so we have this six digit number and we have provided with two constraints over here the first letter should be f and the last letter should be s so here two constraints are provided to us now we have to find all the possible rearrangements again a very similar thing what similar exactly the same thing so we are the sample set we have remaining with the sample set of the options of letters we are remaining with remaining are r u i and t so for this place we will having four options r u i and t so there is four possibility there similarly for next we have three possibilities then two possibilities and for one possibility very same same thing for uh, this place we have four different letters possible over here for every single selection of this we have remaining with three possibilities because f and s is already been utilized and one of the four digit will be utilized here one of the four letters so we are remaining three uh, remain with three letters over here then two letters over there and so on so total number of possibilities for uh, number of rearrangements here with a given word and two constraints will be multiplication of all these possibilities that will be 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 right so this is the total number of rearrangements with the given constraints so what is this this is a very simple thing 4 factorial and this is kitna hai 24 right so this is the thing so right now till now we have done kya kya kiya abhi tak humne we have done uh, we have been uh, we have given a number we have given a letter and the different letters of the word is uh, unique so we do not have any re uh, repetition of letter and then we have uh, find a total number of possibilities to total number of rearrangements of the words and we have find a total number of rearrangements with certain given constraints now we are doing an another example here we are provided with a word but the letters of the word are repeating itself so this is a complete different thing right this is a very interesting thing ab isko dekhte hain kaise kar sakte hain so we have been provided with a word deep and very clearly here letter e is appearing twice so letter e is repeating itself in the word 
In the last example, it was fruits, F R U I T S. So all the alphabets of the word were unique. Here, the letter E is repeating itself. If now we have to find number of repetition or number of rearrangement, we simply cannot say here since it is a four-letter word. We cannot say it will be four factorial. This is wrong. Total number of rearrangements here will not be four factorial because because in four factorial we will be uh, multiple uh, multiple counting the single unique word because let's take example. Let's take a counter example. What I am saying is if we take four factorial. So in four factorial, we will be multiply. Uh, we will be counting the same word multiple times. Let us imagine a possibility where E is the first word. Then we will be left with E. So let's imagine E is also the third one, and the third one is D, and then P. Right. And in second possibility, let us take this is E one. This is the E. E will remain same either E one or E two. Uh, for second possibility, we can say. This e will be the first word because we have to take all the possible things. Here e will be utilized first time, so we will be remaining with this e, this p, and this d. Anna, if we go through, this is possible things when we uh, when we claim that the total number of rearrangements here are four factorial, which is wrong. Which is wrong. Right? Because we will be then counting this thing. This will be counted twice. And these are the exactly same letter, exactly same places of the letter, so exactly same word. So this word will be counted twice if we consider it four factorial, because we are not considering here. We are not taking into consideration that the letter e is been repeated twice. The frequency of the letter e here is two. That is we are not considering. That's why there will be multiple such words where the same word will be uh, counted twice. So exact number of unique rearrangements that we have for this letter d e e p d. It will be way less than four factorial. So how do we calculate the exact number of rearrangements? Here, what we'll do is we know uh, initially if all the letters were unique, then the number of rearrangements are four factorial, and we know that since e e is repeated twice, so we will having a factor of two. We will having a factor of two in the number of terms that are repeating itself. It is getting a little bit complicated. I will try to explain the meaning, uh, the logic behind how we're getting the formula of this. If someone is not comfortable in the logic or someone is not comfortable with the explanation, it's totally fine. For the examination point of view, you just have to remember the the, the formula. You have to remember the concept, and you have to remember what to apply in the formula to get to the answer. It's completely fine if you don't uh, exactly ex ex understand what the uh, concept behind this one is. It's totally fine. So, for let's let's see what the concept behind this thing is. So, I am saying here frequency of e is two. So, what I am saying over here is if if we consider number of possibilities are four factorial in original uh, concept when all the digits were unique, and since the frequency of e is two, that means we have a double counted every single possibility by the factor of two. Every single possibility. Let us take. Right. Let us take any random uh, rearrangement of this word. This is one random rearrangement. So this rearrangement will be counted twice. Right? Because this e and e is same, and our original counting we will be take we will be considering it. Uh, this e and this are uh, different e's. So uh, one possibility for this thing, and for the second possibility is this e and this e. That is actually same only. This e and this e will be swiped. So after swiping these e's, we will be getting another. Exactly same word. So these are the two words, and these are exactly same word. So what I am saying is, on all the sample set, in all the possible rearrangements, in four factorial, we are counting the rearrangement twice. So we just have to divide is by this number. So this is our answer. The number of possible rearrangements. If we have to have a general. If we take this thing to a general now, mm, okay. First, we will have a general explanation. We will have a general conclusion that if we have a digit number and some some alphabets of the number are repeating itself some specific number of time, so what are the possible rearrangements? Then I will come to the final answer. 
and there if some students are not very comfortable with this proof or with this explanation how do we come to this whole solution it is ex explain it is completely fine if you just remember the formula if you just remember what to put in the question what to put from the question what should be uh, the the input value that we should take and put in the uh, formula to get to the answer that is completely fine someone is not exactly following the explanation let us take a number so we are taking some random number uh, uh, word so this is our word and now we have to find all the unique rearrangements this word will have so in this word we can say then letter a is repeating itself 1 2 3 times letter s is repeating itself 1 2 3 4 times letter i is repeating itself 1 2 times and n is repeating itself two times uh what is this 8 9 10 11 o and the other one is t these are unique right so these are the frequency chart frequency chart is nothing it just don't get complicated don't get panic when i use this jargon ye kuch nahi this is just the number of uh, number of times a single letter is repeating in the in the word so the letter a is repeating three times in the word letter s is repeating four times in the word and so on so here what we have to do exactly the same thing exactly the same thing that we have do, uh, done for the word letter d e e p d exactly the same thing here let us take some acha sir bana de do so i have taken some random rearrangement of the given word now what i am saying is with respect to letter a but first of all let us take a letter a and we know that there are four different letters that are being repeated multiple times so with respect to letter a if we take some any this uh, random rearrangement we have and uh, this is the position of letter a we can say in original in our original concept if we take the number of rearrangements is n factorial where n is the total number of or n is the total number of letters of the word so here total number of letters are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 13 13 13 factorial 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 factorial originally if all the letters were unique so 13 factorial would have been the total number of rearrangement possibilities and we know that all letters are not unique so let us take these four are not unique so we can say over here is exactly the same thing this a with respect to a this unique rearrangement will be repeating itself four factorial times since the possible number of ways in which these four identical a's these uh, these four identical a's can permute themselves within the given positions there will be a in position 1 2 3 and this position in the given positions the a can permute within themselves in four factorial ways and we know that a is same either we use this a this a this a all a are same right no no number of a are 3 i'm sorry number of a are 3 3 factorial ways so since there are three different a's and we know that three different letters can permute among themselves in n factorial ways no no we have established in the last slide so the letter three different letter a can permute within themselves in three factorial ways but all the a's are same a to a hi hota hai ye wala a le ye wala a le hai na to I, what i mean to say is this unique letter will repeat itself three factorial times and all such possible permutation will also repeat itself three factorial time with respect to a thoda sa complicated ho hai but simple si jo concept hai i hope you all are getting this what i want to say if this is a unique rearrangement possibility with respect to assassination and with respect to a there is three factorial number of times ki this letter is been repeating and every such possibility is been repeating three factorial of times so a bahut simple si cheez hai three factorial time three factorial to bar bar nahi bolte isko to 6 3 three factorial is 6 so there are six same this word in our this 13 factorial calculation 
है ना एंड फॉर ऑल द अदर वर्ड ऑल्सो ऑल द अदर पॉसिबिलिटीज मे बी सिक्स इज द नंबर ऑफ फैक्टर की वो छह बार आ रहा होगा जैसे ये एक यूनिक अरेंजमेंट है तो दिस अरेंजमेंट विल बी अपियरिंग सिक्स टाइम इन थर्टीन फैक्टोरियल वेज एंड इफ वी टेक सम अनदर रैंडम अरेंजमेंट ऑल्सो सो दैट री अरेंजमेंट विल ऑल्सो बिल अपियरिंग सिक्स टाइम्स सो इफ वी हैव टू कंसिडर यूनिक अरेंजमेंट विद इन दिस थर्टीन फैक्टोरियल सो वट वी हैव टू डू we just simply have to divide it by 3 factorial since every rearrangement is re- uh, repeating itself 3 factorial times or 6 times every rearrangement is repeating itself 6 times so if we simply d- uh, divide the number of total number of rearrangement by 6 we will get only the unique rearrangements very very simple thing so similarly with respect to s also because s is also present at four places and s will also be the same ye wala s lijiye ye wala s lijiye so the s will permute among themselves in the given positions four factorial number of times there are four s so four s can permute among themselves in four factorial number of times and all the rearrangements will exactly be the same because s to s hi rahega na so exactly same thing this rearrangement will be appearing four factorial number of time with respect to s also so dividing it by this thing also and with respect to i i is repeating two time so this thing and n is repeating two time so this is the unique this is the unique number of possible rearrangements that we will get when we rearrange the letters of the word assassination if we rearrange the letters of the word assassination this is the unique number of possibilities we have right now coming to general solution a general formula what we have to put over here we have n letter word n letter word where let us take the letter mm, one letter appears a times one letter appears a times another letter appears b times another letter appears c times another letter appears c times rest of letters are unique right so i am saying we have an n letter word and one letter is appearing a times another letter is appearing b time and another letter is appearing c time and rest of all the letters are unique so total number of possibilities of unique rearrangements here will be n factorial upon a factorial b factorial c factorial right this will be the total number of rearrangements possible so this is the general formula we have to remember what time thing i repeat this thing again if we have an n letter word and uh, one unique letter is appearing a times another letter is appearing b time and another letter is appearing c time and all the rest letters are unique so total number of rearrangements here will be the n factorial total number of letters upon the number of times every letter is re- uh, repeating itself so this will be a factor n factorial upon a factorial b factorial c factorial this is unique number of rearrangements unique number of rearrangements of the given word these are the unique number of rearrangements right i hope it is all clear so we have understood what is permutation combination has we have understood how to get the standard formulas the number of rearrangements now we will see some previous year question that have been asked 
So this is the first question. This was asked in 2023 CZAD paper. I'll read what this is asking. I hope it is clear. If it is not clear, I'll read, I read it. I will read it twice. So the question says, how many distinct eight-digit number can be formed? By rearranging the digits of the number this thing, 11223344. The given number is 11223344. So this is the given number. And we need to find how many uh, eight digit rearrangements can be there such that odd digits occupy odd positions and even digits occupy even position. Right? So here we have to do a rearrangement and uh, there is repetition also and we have some condition also. So it is a mixture of both. We have a repetition of letter and we have two different conditions also. So it's a very simple thing. Let's start. These are our eight digits. We have eight places to occupy and we given the condition is this are the odd, odd positions. And on these odd positions. These are different odd positions and on these odd positions odd digits will occupy the places, right? So odd digits are 1133. Three. So 1133 three can occupy these places. And all the even uh, positions, even digits will occupy and even digits are 2244. Very simple thing. Right, so if we have to do this, we will say, uh, what we will say over here is, ki this thing can be fulfilled by four factorial ways, right? Because there are four possibilities. So four factorial ways, we can fill the odd position. Achha, I'll write it very clearly. Odd positions. Odd positions can be filled by this one. Four factorial ways. This, 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 this. And same thing, we have four different places and we have four digits to fill them. So we, this will be four factorial upon, upon divided by two factorial, two factorial. Because the here the possible digits we have been provided are 1133. Three. So one is repeating two times, three is repeating two times, right? So total number of possibility is this thing. This is the total number of possibility, four factorial upon two factorial, two factorial. So this is the total number of possibility, how the odd positions will be, uh, will be occupied. And for the even position, even positions also exactly the same things we have four digits we are sorry four places and we are provided with four different digits to fulfill these places so number of permutation here will be exactly the same upon two factorial two factorial because there are two four number of possibilities and uh, the number digit number two and digit number four both are repeating itself twice so the total number of possibility to fulfill the even positions is also four factorial upon two factorial, two factorial. So complete number of permutations to form such eight digits number with given two constraint will be multiplication of both two. Very simple thing because for every even position, there is this number of time odd positions. The same thing, ek, ek, uh, one dozen banana is costing 14 rupees. So 10 dozen banana will be costing 10 into 14 rupees. So for every single position, uh, yeah, possibility of this even position fulfillment, there is this num this much number of possibilities to fulfill the odd numbers. So for total number of possibilities of re rearrangements will be multiplication of these two. So that will be four factorial upon two factorial, two factorial square of this thing. Both are same. So that's a square. Total rearrangements. total rearrangements at this one and this is nothing 4 factorial is 4 into 3 into 2 upon 2 into 2 and square of this thing this is 6 square and 6 square is 36 so total answer total number of our rearrangement is 36 so the answer is 36 right so we have 36 number of possibility the, that will be the total number of rearrangements with the given these two constraints. A very simple question. It should take hardly 
50 seconds or 40 seconds to do this in question paper in the question uh, the paper uh, uh, this environment a very simple question so the next question this was asked in 2022 see that how many three digit num natural numbers how many three digit natural numbers without repetition of digits are there such that each digit is odd and the number is divisible by 5 so exactly the same thing we have to do the rearrangements and here also two conditions are provided to us i'll repeat the question again how many three digits natural number can be formed without repetition of digits such that each digit is odd and the number is divisible by 5 so here divisibility rule is also used we have to find three digit number and each digit is an odd number so odd digits are this right we have this five different odd digits and there should not be any repetition and the number is divisible over 5 so divisibility rule of 5 says divisibility of rule of 5 says the end digit the five, uh, unit place digit should be either 5 or should be the 0 i hope you all know that for the divisibility rule of 5 the end digit should be either 5 or either 0 and we know the given condition is each digit of the number that is formed should be odd so 0 is an even digit so 0 is no possibility over here so we have a unique uh, unique possibility so this will be the answer, only answer since only 5 can be substituted in the unit place we can simply write here is 5 so here we have two different places to fulfill and the number of possibilities are now the number of possibilities are 4 these are the four different possibilities we have go since uh, 5 has already been utilized so what we can do over here is are this position first position can be fulfilled in four different ways and second position can be fulfilled in three different ways very simple the first position can be filled by any of the, these four uh, four different numbers and for the second position since one of the four digits has already been occupied here so only three different possible numbers are uh, left which can full, uh, which can fill over this second place so total number possibility is 4 into 3 that is 12 so 12 are the total number of rearrangements by when each digit is odd and the number is divisible by 5. So answer here is 12. 12 is the total number of possibilities. Next question. This was also a question asked in 2022. So the question of permutation combination comes very often. It can come to, to, to an extent of 5 to 8 to 10 number of questions in a question paper. It is a very, very what we can say, a topic with very high weightage. So this question is asking, the letters A, B, C, D and E are arranged in such a way that they are exactly two letters between A and D. How many different such rearrangements are possible? I'll repeat the question again. Letters, uh, five letters are given to us. A, B, C, D, E arranged in such a way that they are exactly two letters. Exactly two letters between A and E. How many such rearrangements are possible? So this is also a very simple question. Here what we can do is, where, here we can take different cases and calculate it manually since the options given are very small. So here manual calculation can be done. Not, not exactly, we have to form all these 36 or 18 possibilities. I'll show how to do it manually in a fast manner. So we have been provided five letter and these five letters have to be rearranged. And the given condition is there is exactly two letters between A and E. So the possible positions of A and E can be here. Let us imagine we have A here, we have E over here. So here we can see there is a gap of two letters between A and E and the positions can be swiped also. There is nowhere given that A should be on the left position or E should be on the left position. So positions of A and B can also be swiped over here. So this is another possibility. And second possibility will be A over here and E over here. And another possibility is this thing. So these are the five possibilities we are having. Other than this, there is no possibility. Let us imagine these are the only five, four possibilities we can have. Let us imagine we have A over here. So what we have to do, we have to uh, take a gap of two places and after that we have to place E. So after two places, there is no place left over here. And after two places, there is no place left over here. So for if we have E over here, so there is no place to possi uh, no place possible for E to, uh, to be established. And such that A and E have a gap of two letters. Similarly, similarly, if we have a letter A, then also same problem will arise. 
there is no place so that two letters uh, gap of two letters are there between a and e so only four such possibilities are there and now we have to calculate number of possibilities for everything so here we have pro, uh, for this condition case one for case one we can say case for case one we can say uh, we have three different places here and three different possibilities b c d right so we have three places and three letters and we know that three letters can be rearranged with themselves in three places in three factorial ways this is established thing now ha na ye to humne bahut der se kar liya hai similarly this thing also we have three places and three unique possibilities so case 2 case 2 maybe we will having the same thing we have three different letters and three words so this can be filled in three factorial ways and now till now i think you must have get ki this will be three factorial for this also and three factorial for this also for third case and fourth case and for in the third case we have three different possibilities and three different places so this is also three factorial ways we can rearrange themselves and similarly in fourth position we can arrange themselves in three factorial ways so this is the total number of possibilities we have when when the this condition is provided to us so this is 3 factorial into 4 and we are adding 3 factorial 4 times so this is 3 factorial into 4 and this is 4 factorial so that is 3 into 2 into 4 this is 24 so the answer here is 24 so 24 is the number of ways we if we can arrange this given five letters such that there is exactly two letters between a and e right but we have done over here is we have uh, taken all the possible cases where there is a gap of two letters between a and e and then we have calculated the total number of possibilities and we found that there is three factorial number of ways in which each such case can be found where a certain uh, where the positions of a and e uh, a, e, a and e are fixed and after that three factorial other number of ways for that and given there are four cases so we have added three factorial ways four time so this is three factorial into four and the three factorial into four product is coming out to be 24 so 24 is the number of possibility possible cases we can have for the given condition right so this was asked in 2022 so we can say over the, we have uh, we have uh, solved in detail the three possible three question that was asked in previous question so this this thing is not very complicated this is a very simple thing you just have to remember if you just have to have a knack how to use this thing this factorial thing how to use the permutation and combination to find out total number of free arrangement and after that we have to just put the condition the given conditions can uh, can be tricky with given question to question but in classes we will discuss in detail how to solve the we have already discussed in detail how different possibilities can be there how different conditions can be there and how to tackle all these conditions After than that it is a very simple thing thank you